Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Inconsequential Runner and we have Coach Mark here with a quick tip. Now, if you saw our last video on how to build race tactics that suit you, you'll know what I'm about to ask Coach Mark. If not, go back to our last video and watch how to build race tactics that suit you. But Coach Mark, I talked about how I got caught on the rail in an 800 meter race and I I had to like push my way through. And to be honest, Candid, I think I was probably a little bit too aggressive, though the two gentlemen afterwards were all good about it. But I got caught. But the question is, because I don't know much about track racing, it's new to me, but there must be an etiquette. So what can we and what can't we do when we're on the track and certainly when we're boxed? What can we do and what can't we do to protect our space around us? Where's that line? Coach Mark, mm. quick tip. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty clear, really, and 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 this is this is really the rule that uh, judges look at to see if okay. someone's you know infringed the rule is going to be disqualified or not. So if you're boxed in on the rail, um, you can't force your way into someone else's space. By that by that I mean you you actually they're, they're, they're maybe in a particular position just just beside you. You can't push them away from that. And, that, and and move into it, but you can protect the space you're in. So so if someone is um, trying to encroach on you, you can elbow them out of the way, or even give them a bit of a push. You can even do that for someone at, at the front. You know, if they slow down suddenly, you can you can put your arm out, but you can't give them a shove, for example. No, no. So yeah, so so it's pretty it's pretty clear, really. Yeah, yeah, that is clear. So when you're putting your arm out in front, you're basically trying to stop yourself clamoring into the back of them and, and tripping and stuff like that. It, it's sort of a, um, oh, I don't know. It's it's more protective, as, as you say, protective. rather than giving exactly. them a, okay. that's the, In fact, that's the key word, protect. You can protect your own space. You can't um, aggressively force your way into someone else's space. Okay, okay. That is super clear. That is super clear. Probably feeling a little bit guilty. I need to. <laughs> so if you if you if you go nip through a gap though, if there's a small gap and you can nip through, but you haven't actually caused them to kind of move dramatically sideways, you, you might get away with that. Yeah, but, okay, yeah. I did because there was a bit of a gap. They were a little bit yeah. off, and I went through, and there was just a bit of a nudge as I you know got through. But what you've shared with us makes it really clear in terms of you can protect your space. But you can't encroach on someone else's space, and you know, uh, you know, apply enough force, either suddenly or whatever, to you know push them out of their line so you can take their line, sort of thing. Is that right? Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly. It. That's awesome, and that's good to know. That's good to know. Another thing is, don't step off on the inside of the track. That's another DQ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so down the track. Protect your um, space so you can stay on the track. But yeah, you can't just start running over and, and pushing away other people off their line and, and going through gaps that don't exist, basically. So you'll find yourself with a big DQ. Uh, yeah, you'll you know. learn. You'll learn. Yeah. So, so if you're watching, listen to Coach Mark or you'll find out from the race officials. You're going to find out one way or another. Listening to Coach <laughs> yeah. Mark is the best way to find out. And actually, if you want Coach Mark to give you more advice, check out the show notes. Coach Mark's contact details are in there. So if you want to be coached by Coach Mark, I recommend it. Um, it's all there in the details. Okay, that was a quick tip. Coach Mark will catch you in the next video. We will talk about carbo loading and is it a myth? So those that are watching, if you want to find out about carbo loading and is it a myth, um, just hit subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video pops up. Otherwise, Thank you from us and catch you later. Coach Mark, thank you, buddy. Yeah, great stuff.